Science is a quest for knowledge. In fact, the word itself, science, comes from uh, the Latin science, meaning uh, knowledge. Unfortunately, although science, of course, answers many questions in our life, there are some things that are just unknowable. And we have to be comfortable with that, that we just can't know everything. Why do I bring this up? Because uh, of recent headlines that were generated by a study carried out in uh, California by a consumer group. They found levels of BPA, bisphenol A, in uh, clothing, mostly in athletic clothing, in, in uh, sports bras, t-shirts, etc., uh, that they claim exceed the levels that are acceptable by California standards. Well, this uh, is sort of a conundrum what to do uh, about this. First of all, why should there be any bisphenol A present in, in clothing? This is a substance that is uh, uh, used in the manufacture of uh, polycarbonate plastics and in uh, various kind of epoxy resins. But why should it show up in, in clothing? Well, to make textiles is a very complicated business, and there are numerous chemicals that are used. Some of these are called finishing chemicals. <clears throat> And these are used for various reasons. Uh, first of all, the processing of fibers, uh, particularly synthetic ones like polyester and nylon, uh, require melting at high temperatures, pushing them through a spinneret. And in order to reduce the damage that um, is caused by the heat, there are various finishing chemicals that are used. And some of these are formulated with bisphenol A and can uh, conceivably leach some of this out into the fabric. But these chemicals also uh, make the fabric uh, uh, resistant to static electricity, uh, and they uh, give it a better washability, longer lasting, etc. So they are not just callously uh, used. Anyway, uh, the, uh, this particular study found that uh, BPA was uh, present in, in mostly athletic clothing, but researchers in China have also found that it's present in other fabrics. They purchased some new uh, clothes from stores. They also collected some uh, uh, clothing randomly from families, and they tested uh, for BPA. And it turned out that while there was more in the new clothes, uh, there was uh, certainly less in, in ones that were made out of cotton. Uh, but uh, there was more in the new clothes than in the washed clothes. However, over time, over repeated washing, it uh, turns out that the used clothes also picked up BPA, probably from being washed together with the, uh, the new clothes. But what does all of this mean? We really don't know about the safety of BPA in such trace amounts because a study that would give us the answers cannot be done. We would have to take a group of people, who would have to be a substantially large group, who would wear clothes that were guaranteed to be free of BPA. We would have to follow these people for decades and compare their health status to another group that was wearing conventional clothes. Obviously, this cannot be done. It, it's a study like that cannot be organized. So we come down to, to making some educated guesses, but that's all it is. And for example, the California limit of uh, just you know a few micrograms uh, of daily exposure through the skin of BPA, that is nothing more than an educated uh, guess. Indeed, knowledge is elusive. And you know, I, I'm okay with that. I, I, I'm fine with not being able to find an answer to absolutely everything. For example, how do I know uh, whether or not when I'm lying in bed at night trying to go to sleep, if uh, I'm picking up some BPA from my sheets, because those are made of textiles, there's some polyester fiber in there. Should I then wear a t-shirt to prevent bare skin coming into contact with the, the sheets? But we just learned that those t-shirts can also harbor BPA. But what about an old t-shirt? Like one of my favorites. This takes me back 45 years. That's when I bought it. Riding High Ranch in New York State, we used to go for some real fun riding experiences. So I still have that t-shirt. 
And back in those days, there was very little BPA in circulation. So there's probably not much BPA that was ever present in this, but you know what? I now remember that I just washed this together with a new athletic t-shirt. So probably there was some cross-contamination. But you know what? I won't lose any sleep for, over it. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.